1990 on a H Mark II Golf 1.6 petrol. Bit of a GDI replica, you can see they've got the big bumpers on, GDI wheels and the body kit and archers. As you can hear, I've got this one running this morning. The battery was flat this morning, wants a little bit of a carb tune up. It does fire straight in the night, but it's a little bit scruffy as you get up the revs a little bit there. So fresh feeling, a bit of a tune up would sort that out, I would like to think. But I've got it running, it does fire straight in the night there, so I know we're doing it a little bit differently here, but it was being so busy there this morning, so I apologise about that, but it fires straight up, tick a nice and happy, you know, you can't rev it up. It's all okay. That sounds all good to me. I'm going to knock it off and then we'll go back round. Apologies for any background noise during any of the videos we've got going on. Like I say, we are so, so busy at the minute. So, there you have it. The 1.6 litre petrol engine in there. Body wise, we're going to start off with the bonnet, work our way around onto the interior. So, up the bonnet, it's lovely and straight, it wants a machine polish, it's all red, but there's a few little, you can't see where it has been polished at some point in its life, it's a little bit swirly. But apart from that, lovely and straight, it's got a little bit of a hole there on the left-hand side where the wiper blanket is for the right left-hand drive cars. You can see that there, but apart from that, nice and straight down the wing. Single headlight grille. You'll see the bumper's all okay. The big bumper put on there, but you'll see the lower half of the splitter is missing sort of half of the splitter there. And it's just the lower splitter. If we round onto the right hand side, nice and tidy down the arch there, a little bit of a car park and think towards the front. You've got the GCI arch kit on. We have got um some sill sections there as well, which I'll show you in the car. So there is bits of the car, I know there's bits of the trim missing off there as well. All okay down the lower section of the door there, nice and tidy up the driver's door. One or two bits of paint flake here and there on this one. We're going to recap all okay. Across the sunroof there, all nice and straight across the sunroof. No rust at all anywhere around the sunroof. All okay across there. As we come back down the right hand side rear, we've got some bubbling around the fuel filler cap. But the rest of it seems to be all alright. Bit of overspray on this panel as well here. There's a bit of bubbling around the fuel filler cap. Right hand side bumper corner is all okay, but again, we've got a dent here on the right hand side across the back bumper GTI rear bumper on there which you can't see bit of fading to the plastic but not bad at all rest of the badge panel there is all nice and tidy normally get some corrosion the seams that's not the case there. there's a few stone chips here and there but that's all a little bit of rust on the back of the boot there on the left hand side de-wipe it as well coming round down the left hand side rear quarter lovely and straight around the rear quarter no corrosion coming through the arch there nice and straight all the way down all the way across onto the front door there. You see we've got a few little dents in the left-hand side front door. Lower half is a bit of scabbing starting on the lower half as well. And we'll pop that all okay. As we get to the front wing, all okay across the wing there. The odd little bit of paint flake behind the arch, but no corrosion coming through that I can see on the wing. Into the interior now. I believe it's a driver, this car. The interior looks like a driver. Or it's a bit of a clean on the door cart there, but no rips or tears. The seat itself again wants a bit of a clean, but no rips or tears across the seat. Dials are all clear, all all right down there. But again, once the uh, gear gate is not there, we've got some trim in here. Some oh, there's there's the other half of the splitter on the front there, and we've got the sill trims there as well. Rear seat seat will be okay, but it warrant a good clean in there once again into the boot now parcel shelves all intact which is nice you've got the arches in the boot as well St steel wheel and an air filter there in the boot left hand side front door card nice and tidy on the door card no rips or tears the seat itself although warrants a bit of a clean again no rips or tears to the seat itself now i have it the 1990 on a h golf a 1.6 litre carburetor petrol that one Bit of a GTI replica with those BBS RAs and the big bumpers on there with the GTI kit on.